Hi, welcome to CSI 1930s History Camp in a Box. My name is Debbie Fondre and I am the curator of the Raup Museum and together we're going to try to figure out who tried to kidnap Farmer Pop. In November of 1937, people in Buffalo Grove woke up to read very surprising news in their newspaper. George Pop, one of their neighbors, had almost been kidnapped. He only managed to fight off the kidnappers with the help of his son. The crime took place on the Pop Farm, which was at the corner of Arlington Heights Road and Lake Cook Road. That's where the Buffalo Creek Forest Preserve is today. Pretty much that whole forest preserve was once owned by the Pop family and used as their farm. The kidnappers got away, but they left behind some evidence. Footprints, a pair of glasses, and a blood-stained cap. Even though Farmer Pop escaped, people wanted the police to catch the kidnappers. Mr. Pop had already been robbed of $5,000 a few months earlier. Maybe the robbers and the kidnappers were the same people. The sheriff came from Waukegan to investigate the crime. Buffalo Grove was such a small town that we didn't have any police officers then, so we needed help. There were three things for the sheriff to investigate. The footprints left by the criminals, the bloodstained cap, and the glasses left behind. Soon, the sheriff found a pair of suspects, but they claimed to be innocent. They said they were hunting ducks when Mr. Pop was robbed. One suspect had a shirt with red stains on it, but he claimed that the stains were from strawberry jam. He had been eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and some of it spilled on his shirt. The sheriff needs to look for more evidence to figure out if he has caught the right suspects. Are you ready to help? You will be doing three different activities that the sheriff would have been doing to solve the crime. You will make a plaster cast of a footprint. The sheriff would be able to use this to see if the footprints at the crime match the shoes of the suspects. You will test for strawberry DNA. The suspect says the stain on his shirt is strawberry jam, but the sheriff needs to see if it might actually be a blood stain. If it is blood, he could try to match it to the blood on the cap found at the crime scene. You will look at fingerprints. The sheriff found fingerprints on the glasses left at the crime scene. Taking the fingerprints of the suspects could help prove whether they are innocent or guilty. Bonus activity. In real life, in real history, Farmer Pop was very worried after being robbed and almost being kidnapped. He started to hide his money in different places on the farm in order to keep it safe. He did not even want to tell his wife where he hid the money. This could be a problem. What if he forgot the hiding places? Invisible ink was the answer. He could write a note to his wife in invisible ink and then write a different note on top of the first one. You will try using invisible ink to write and read notes. At the end, you will find out where Farmer Pop hid the money. The end. Thanks for being part of History Camp in a Box.